Hello and welcome to episode 23 of our Surakesh campaign. So in the last episode, we ended up having a couple of problems, you could say, with uh, the return of a once thought dead god king uh, rising from this province of Ardu here in the desert and creating lots of issues for us. Uh, he is trying to retake the bulwar for himself, which is obviously unacceptable as it is ours and it should be. Uh, and he's been sending some crazy stuff at us. I mean, look at the morale on just these things here. 464. You're essentially assaulting a fort every time you fight these guys. You have to fight them until they're all dead, which is uh, pretty expensive manpower wise. We were at like full manpower when we started this. We're probably going to have to merc up to uh, finish this off, unfortunately, but that's okay. Uh, we have two more chances before he will do something. I don't know exactly what happens, but when he regains his full power, I assume that maybe a rebel state will uh, secede from us. I don't really want to find out. And he unfortunately interrupted a war against this green nation here, so we were not able to take out uh, this region of the Bulwar, but we will do so soon enough. All right, so tech-wise, uh, I think we go ahead and we take religious ideas first. No, 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 we take tech because I want to not have unbalanced research. So we take tech. Uh, as for advisors, we will get a Diplo guy. We'll go with uh, trade efficiency. We can afford it. We have a disloyal subject. I'm not sure why they're this disloyal. They weren't that disloyal at the beginning of last time. Maybe just needs to update or something. Uh, and then we are going to go ahead and hire a mercenary company. We can get a relatively large one. Yeah, I want the cheapest one too. So we'll go ahead and, and hire them. I think that is good. We will unpause. There are rebels that are going to pop up. Uh, nothing we can do about it. We are a little busy at the moment. All right. I think we are going to go unsiege that. What's the defensiveness like? Okay. Really low defensiveness. We are expelling Knolls, Ketaradin, Separatists down here in the south. We will send the... Mm, we'll deal with the Rebels later. We'll deal with the Rebels later. For now, we're going to just take out all of these bad troops. They definitely are bad troops. Oh, we might lose that. The General has died. Okay, it wasn't a general that we were actively using, so that's good. All right, Golden Highway construction is completed. Oh man, this is a lot of beasts. That's bad, that's very bad. Yeah, we definitely don't want them to uh, get caught up. We can go ahead and embrace the institution, which is what I was waiting for. Oh well, let's be paid some extra for uh, for the admin tech, but that's okay. 17,000, why don't you deal with... So let's just start unseaging everything. It's probably the most important thing that we can do right now. They are walking into there. They should just accept that. Oh, and just before we're able to finish this calamity, the fourth one happens. I am really regretting letting this happen. I should have went after him from the very beginning. All right, so Amusu uncovered the fourth relic and has almost recovered his power. Our archaeologists and mages are now certain that he only needs one more to recover all of them and lift the curse. The mummy's growing strength has led him to even greater magics, and this next calamity is of singular strength. Meteors rain from the air, crushing any caught beneath them. Out of clear blue sky comes death and destruction. Though all seemed lost at the latest turn of events, Suriel has sent us a ray of hope in the form of a delegation from the Sal Ardith. The Mashnish tribe who served as wardens for Amusu's tomb. Few have not left the deserts of Nirku Nirukalu, the silent hall, for millennia, but none could stand by while Amusu roamed free. They say their ancient records contain hints to genie relics that might be able to counter this spell and end the calamity. They also bring a poem that must date to Amusu's own reign, yet remains an accurate depiction of current events. This doth be the end. Hold thine heir, count ten. Endure thy motion, and then, hark, thy heart bursts again. For this doth be the end, I hath drowned and dreamt this occurrence. Fate, fated tis them, sweepeth me away stolen. The sky doth fall. The sky falls, and our realm seems poised to crumble. Oh, God. Okay. 
lots of devastation here. Uh, yeah, sure. All right, so we need to excavate artifacts. 10 regiments present. Oh, cool, we just get it, because we're there. Genie binding artifact uncovered. So with the help of Zal Ardeth, we were able to secure one of the ancient relics and our mages report that it seems to still be working. With a few of these, we should be able to stop the meteor swarm. Alas, we are not the ancient god kings and so cannot hurl a massive stone of our own at a musu, if only. I need to find five. Okay. Uh, it needs 10 in each spot, so let's... Oh, you're a mercenary company, so I can't split you. That's okay. I can split you. We're going to do that as fast as possible. All right, that takes care of the rebels and the actual, like, rebel part of it. Now we just need to unsiege everything quickly as possible. Send all of this up to be carpet siege down. Good, good, good. And we have converted another province. And we have another uh, merchant. So that's what it's saying. I don't know where we... Oh, we got it from embracing the institution, right. Uh, let's go ahead and... I don't know, throw it here. Just to get a little bit more trade power moving up forward. That's good. All right. Let's, uh, yeah, continue to unpause. So rebellion outreach? No. We work against it. Excavate artifacts. With the help of Zal Ardith, we were able to secure one of the ancient relics. All right. It is little more than a hysterical curio now and has no power to end this calamity. We must continue the search. That is unfortunate. I didn't realize we could fail. Let's do another one. Aha, we find another genie binding artifact. So we now have two, the third one. All right, so we have three genie binding artifacts now. Where are the other options? We have one here, one there. Send you to that province. Yes. Okay. Gnolls are being kicked out. Gnomes? I'm fine with gnomes. Gnomes are cool. Oh boy. Meteor shower. Okay. Increase of goblin tolerance. Just quickly unsiege everything. This is our opportunity to stop him. We definitely don't want that last event to fire off. If we can help it. All right, excavate the artifact. Genie binding, nope. It was a false one. All right, we just need one more artifact and then we will be able to get rid of the meteor swarm, which is probably good. Meteors do not sound healthy for our citizens. Uh, why don't I have you guys actually just step in right there. I know, separatists, we will deal with the separatists later. If we lose a little bit of land, but we saved the run. Uh, you know what? I'll be fine with that. Please? Yes. So we now have five of five working artifacts. So we should... On the month tick? No? Okay. Little concerning. Little concerning. I really thought that, that would, uh... End this calamity. Use the artifacts. So... In... Uh, at least one province is part of the Bulwar subcontinent. Oh, I just... Wait, what? Have the province modifier Amusu the Silent. Well, how am I supposed to find that? <laughs> uh, really, how am I supposed to find that? Is it where he's at? Locate slash challenge him. Yes. All right. Uh, I suppose we can do that. He moves around, which is what makes it kind of difficult to uh, pin him down. Okay, meteor shower. Please, please, please start unseaging everything quickly. This should be the last one, and that should end that calamity. And then everybody go! Monsters made mortal. Creatures came crawling out of Bulwar's nightmares, and we beat them back. The knight cannot stand against Sarael's son, and nor could Amusu's monsters stand against man, though they took their toll of blood and flesh, even in defeat. If we want to finish this early, now would be the time to attack Amusu. Okay, it's time. It's time. We got to do the things. Um. No, I need to sacrifice weapons. Yeah, yeah, move in. Please only take one. God, I really hope you only take one. 
I've done that twice now. I've moved them into the province of Dehane and then not actually had it work. Okay, here we go. Sacrifice weapons. It only took one. Wait, do I have to sacrifice one on every part of the... Oh my goodness. Okay, hold on. Let's, uh, let's just start spreading out then. That way we can do it a bunch of times. All right, where is Amusu? Where are you, you punk? Uh, in Urkonaz. All of you get to Urkonaz. All right, let's start sacrificing weapons. Persecuted gnolls, damn them. I think we are gonna have to sacrifice one person to uh, each province. Yep, that's what it's looking like. Okay, well, so be it. Yes, we will go ahead and take tech. We gained the manpower back, so we can go ahead and just start. Well, I guess it'd actually probably be faster just to build a troop on every province and then just instantly sacrifice them when they're built. So that's what we'll go ahead and do. All right, do we, do we pin him down? Where is he? Where is he? He keeps moving. Stop moving. Just die. Okay, they're there. They're there. As long as there's one general, there is. Then we're going to go ahead and... No, did he move again? You son of a... Get back here. Oh, with a month tick, he probably moved again. He is. He's running. He's scared. He's scared. I'm also scared. I'm, I'm very scared. Okay. Oh, we're there. We're there. We're there. It's the month tick. Okay. Uh, use the artifacts. Clear skies, clear mind. The assembled relics were the Zal artist's greatest treasure, a legacy of millennia. But to the outward eye, they looked more like a child's rock collection, even if close inspection showed the stones were swirled with intricate patterns and made of mineral unlike any other. With the stones in a belt across his waist, a single archmage went to the epicenter of Amusu's most recent meteor storm. As he walked, the death that rained from the sky parted around him, as if the deadly stones could not approach the protective ones he carried. A murmured word, and the collected relics shattered, their power supercharged, such that the shield they provided expanded outwards, the falling meteors consumed and eradicated. A few moments later, the sky is cleared, and the calamity has passed. If we want to finish this early, now would be the time to attack. All is over except the cleanup. Okay, but that's not exactly true. Right? We can't end this. Because I still have to sacrifice all the weapons. I think not sacrificing the weapons earlier is going to be what uh, screws us over here. I think that is going to be what ends up making it to where he is able to do whatever he wants to do. Oh, come on! Power overwhelming. Those were the words ringing in the ears of every inhabitant of Bulwar when Amusu uncovered and seized his fifth and final relic. Each heard it in their mother tongue, loud and clear, even as all the land's dogs began to howl and all the horses neighed in fear. Our scholars and our mages and our priests all say the same thing. We only have a few months to defeat the ancient god king before it's too late. It may be nigh impossible now that the binding rituals begin to slough off and he attains his full powers, but we have no other choice. So I think this counts in the realm of bad. <laughs> I think things are going very bad. What province did I not sacrifice on yet? If I have a couple months, I think I can get it done. Where are we? Sacrificing weapons. All right. I'm not seeing anything get highlighted. Anybody else seeing anything get highlighted? I don't think so. Where is he? All right, move in. Yes. Oh, are we going to get this in just below the wire? The bloody saran clears. Swords, spears, guns, armor, even cannons. They all sunk quickly to the bottom of the saran. And where before thousands of soldiers stood, now simply stand thousands of citizens of Surakesh, no different from the rest. As soon as the last of them discarded their weaponry, the river immediately began to clear. And within an hour, it was flowing with water once more. 
The irrigation systems have been reactivated, much to our farmers' delight, though we will have to engage in some dredging lest boats run aground or sunk artillery. We have survived this calamity, though if this is Amusu at his weakest, we shudder to imagine what lays ahead. Yeah, if we want to finish this early, now would be the time to attack. It's not about finishing this early, it's just about finishing it. And I really hope that our troops can handle whatever he's about to throw at us. Uh, let's put our general in charge. Is technically better. Let's have all of these guys move in to reinforce. Oh boy. Okay. Here we go. Locate slash challenge Musu. Is there anything anything I can do? Uh, morale of armies doesn't matter, honestly. Is there a discipline guy? There's not. And we don't have the time to wait. Okay. We will now challenge Amusu. 140 regiments max morale. 140 regiments. The question is, do we get the defensive bonus? Because if we get the defensive bonus, I think we'll be all right in the mountains here. But if it gives it to him, we are in huge trouble. We'll, we'll get absolutely obliterated. But we don't have a choice. We have to do it. We have to. Oh, it is going to be just like the others. I do not feel confident about this. Let's bring it down to speed three. We're going to watch. Okay. Well, we're rolling like absolute dog. But, uh... Oh. Uh, we're going to give you a month tick here. And then you're going to move in. Oh my goodness, dude. This is a fight. This is a fight. Can I get... Uh... Dang, I should have fired all these guys to try and find a discipline. I think we're going to make it. I think as long as we roll decently. Oh, I don't know. We're starting to lose it. We're starting to lose it. Like, yes, yes, yes. Golden Highway Construction. Where are the re- Oh, I didn't move these guys in. No, 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 no. Give troops. Build them. Build them everywhere. Please. Please. Okay, okay. What stats does he have as a general, by the way? Okay, well, that's really hard to see. Honestly, not very good. I expected him to have, like, really good uh, leader pips, but I, I think we're going to do it. Yeah, we're going to keep this guy. Oh, my goodness. I don't care. Separatists are a later problem. Later problem. But right now, the only thing that matters is this. Our general has died. That's okay. We're going to make it. Religious incident, a blast from the past. The fifth tenant of the sun cult. Don't abandon hope. The sun will come again. And today, through all the darkness a mummy god king could muster, Sorael's will has reigned triumphant. He threw sandstorm at us, but we endured. He summoned skeletons and monsters, and we cut them down. He harnessed all his arcane might, but could not slay Iskratis. And then, after a brutal battle that sapped the genie's strength, with the flick of a ritual enchanted sword, the great Mirage cut the monster down. There was a single moment where all Bolwar, all Halan, seemed to hold its breath. And then in an instant, with the sound of a, sunder, a thunderclap and the flash of a blinding white light, Amusu disappeared. When Vision returned to Ascrati's eyes, he saw only a small and battered bronze lamp, surrounded by scattered relics. Picking up the lamp, it seems a small trace of its genie power still remains, the great Mirage raises the lamp to his lips and whispers. I wish we worshipped as a god king. The chosen's roll decreases by one. 50 admin power plus five max absolutism. I wish to oversee a prosperous realm. 50 admin power plus 5% goods produced modifier till the end of the game. And I wish to ensure all my subjects rise. 50 admin power and minus one national unrest until the end of the game. Well... I don't think the first one works because we are a republic and we're all about the freedom for everybody. So it really comes down to the last two. Subjects rise, prosperous realm. I think prosperous realm is better. Uh, 
that increases the chosen's role i do not want to increase the chosen's role so we're gonna go ahead and say prosperous realm and amusu's relics when the musu fell the relics he had gathered dropped beside the lamp it is unclear how long their power will last with the god king finally gone but for as long as they do great mirage iskratis will have a power unlike any other at his fingertips all right so we get a bunch of little relics and look at the modifier descriptions in the government tab to learn how to use them well let's head on over to the government tab oh there's like special things we can do so the instance of itar hashish usable via diplomatic action okay ars de Gil armor unused sitandu arrows usable by decision asra inu leaves usable by decision and titubaltu tablets one time hire mercenary company interesting so let's go ahead and take a look at these so this will give us 50 military power and until the death of the current ruler we gain shock damage received reduction and plus 15 percent average monarch lifespan not really great for a republic but uh, pretty good for a monarchy smoke the astra inu leaves we have two leaves left and it reduces power cost for uh one year okay pretty nice and use the setandu arrows wow so for one month we gain plus 25% morale of armies, plus 100% infantry and cavalry combat ability. Oh my God. Okay. Yes, thank you. Uh, th we will use that. Absolutely. Now, there was one that could be used in diplomatic, right? Where would I find that? Remove the aggressive expansion we generated towards this country. I like that. That is uh, pretty good. And there was one more, wasn't there? The tablets, a mercenary company. Can we see them? Uh, no, it doesn't look like it, but I believe them. I believe that it's there. Wow, that was an amazing religious incident. Like absolutely fantastic. In fact, I think I'm just gonna cut the episode a little bit short today and just leave it here because uh, there's no way I'm going to top that ending off. That's for sure. A uh, fantastic work to whoever made that. That was very stressful. And that really came down to the wire. I think we were like a month or two off from whatever was going to go down from going down. I don't know what Amusu would have done, but it was probably not good. I mean, he got up to a full 140 stack on this mountain province. I mean, imagine if I had like not brought everybody in at once. Wow, I'm blown away. Uh, I would like to thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.